Hello friends, Ginny D here, and here's a fun fact about why I start every video that way. For a while there, people kept thinking that my name was pronounced Ginny Die, which I get, but also it sounds a little bit like a really threatening imperative, so I decided to teach pronunciation through repetition. So what are we doing today? A ton of people requested that I shoot a response to Edith's matchmaker video as my D&D character Ashling. But the more I thought about it, the more I'm starting to feel like Ashling is probably asexual or aromantic or maybe both. I'm just not feeling this kind of interaction for her, so I thought instead I would respond to Edith's video as a different character. I polled my patrons to see who their favorite NPC was, and the winner was... drumroll please! Elowin the Healer! So today, by popular demand, Ellie is going to the matchmaker. Also, if you like Elowin and want to include her in your own games, or maybe you just want to learn a little bit more about her, I am running a special offer on Patreon for the next two weeks. You pledge $5 or more and you will receive a postcard in the mail with a lovely photo of Ellie on one side and a complete stat block for her on the back, including some really fun special skills that I can't wait to share with you. She's mainly a medic type character who can do some non-magical healing both during and outside of combat that, but I think my favorite skill is her bone saw attack, which will hopefully be just fucking terrifying for anyone who thinks it's a good idea to pick on the healer. I'm planning to do postcards like this for all of my NPCs, but they will each be limited edition, so if you want to collect them all, make sure you don't miss this first one. And if $5 is too steep or you don't want a physical card, I will also be providing a digital version of the stat block to all of my patrons starting at $2. Plus, you know, we just have fun on Patreon and we would love to have you join us. It's a really sweet little community and I think that you'll dig it. All right, that's that's enough of that, let's get to it. Quick content warning, discussion of gore, discussion of sex, and there is fake blood on Ellie's clothes. Let's go. Oh, good morning, my dear. Hello, I'm so sorry, please excuse all the blood. I came straight from work. May Suni shine the light of her love and beauty upon your days. I am so thrilled to meet you. Now, please tell me the name of the ravishing creature standing before me. Me? Oh, I'm Elowen, but you can call me Ellie. Oh, breathtaking. Well, I am Edith Helmina Fairthimble, and I am so happy that you have decided to welcome love into your heart. Well, I didn't really decide. One of the other healers I work with got me a gift card for my birthday the other week. Feels like a little bit of a heavy-handed hint, but... You know, I work with people all across the world who are just like you. They're all looking for that special someone. Or a few special someones. We don't pass judgments like that here. Oh, one is more than enough for me, thanks. Today, I am just going to ask you a few questions about yourself, about what you're looking for, about your past. I know that you don't know me, but I'm going to have to ask you to be honest with me. That's the only way this works. That won't be a problem. I'm more used to people telling me to be less honest. But I guess it's different when they're asking why they can't feel their toes and the toes in question were left on the battlefield. First things first, we're gonna have to get down the basics. So, how old are you? Just turned 90 a few weeks ago. Half elf, so I guess you could call this my midlife crisis. No offense. None taken. Okay. Do you have a preference with regards to gender? Not particularly. Okay, noted. Any objection to fangs, horns, wings, or tails? Oh no, I've seen it all. Sometimes attached to people, sometimes not. Have you ever reattached a tail? Weirdly easier than other limbs. Plus you get to make jokes about getting a piece of tail. Have you had a relationship before, and how recent are we talking here? I guess it depends on how you define relationship. I mean, I think every soldier falls in love with their healer at least once, you know? But we're always on the move, so nothing can really stick. Besides, can't keep every piece of tail. Hey! Mm -hmm. And do you sleep in pajamas or in the nude? Oh, I sleep in my work clothes. You never know when you're gonna have to wake up and cauterize a wound in the middle of the night. Sexy bedroom look, right? Okay, I may be wrong, but I can't help but sense a little bit of uh, trepidation coming off of you. But some part of you must be looking for love, even if it's not a conscious part. Otherwise, Suni would not have brought you to me. So, do yourself a favor, or at least humor me, and give it a shot, all right? I'm sorry. I make jokes when I'm nervous. I'll try and rein it in. Okay. So, 
let's talk about what you are looking for in a partner. What would you say is your type? What do you find attractive about a person? And don't say redheads, because I'll think you're flirting with me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, you could say redheads, it's true. Red hair is nice, but to be honest, I don't really care about that kind of stuff much. I've seen all kinds of bodies in all kinds of states. It's hard to think about the body as anything other than a fragile little meat bag for our organs and bones, way too easy to rip open. I'm so sorry, that wasn't your question. I guess I like uh, people who are unshakable. My work has pretty much drilled squeamishness and sensitivity out of me completely, so I don't have much patience for it in others. And of course, a sense of humor is nice. And by that I mean they have to laugh at my jokes. Which shouldn't be hard, because I'm hilarious. Oh, of course. I agree with you completely there. Thank you. Based on where you are in your life right now, are you ready to settle down, raise a family? Or are you looking for something a little more casual? I've done casual, but now that I'm looking towards retirement, it's probably time to start thinking more long term. Now, I know you're an adventurer, you probably do a lot of travel. Are you okay with long distance, or would you expect your partner to come along with you on the road? I'm hoping to be done with traveling soon. My mother was a midwife for a small village. I've been thinking about trying to find a position more like that. What about deal breakers? Annoying habits, religious affiliations, pets? Anything you absolutely would not stand for? I don't want to date a soldier. I already lost one. I don't think I could handle losing another. My younger brother was a soldier. That's why I started doing this. I wanted to look out for him. But in the end, it wasn't enough. But every soldier is somebody's brother or sister or child or parent. They all deserve to have somebody looking out for him. But it takes a toll. So, no soldiers. Also, nobody with a really annoying laugh, you know what I mean? You know, let's get a little uncomfortable here. It's time to talk about your dating history. Now, if you have not dated extensively before, just think about relationships in your life in general. Although, look at you. I would find it hard to believe that nobody has ever tried to pin that down, right? <laughs> I'm usually the one doing the pinning down. Especially when we're out of anesthesia. So, are you usually the pursuer or the pursued? Are you the one that breaks up or the one that gets broken up with? I'm pretty work focused. Sometimes I don't even notice when someone's being flirtatious. Likewise, I sometimes don't notice when they stop. But I don't mind being the one who gets broken up with. Fixing broken things is my specialty. Ooh, that sounds really sad, doesn't it? That is interesting. Tell me, what went wrong in your last relationship? Do you take any responsibility there? I had a little fling with another healer. My supervisor, actually, which I think we both knew was a bad idea. Workplace romance so rarely works out. I think people started to notice that she kept giving me all the best patients. She knew I loved a good amputation. You know, whoever said the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach has clearly never used a bone saw. Anyway, she transferred uh, to the Northern Front. That was a few months ago. Oh. I am so sorry to hear that, honey. That must have been really rough. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. But you can't spend the rest of your life thinking about it, or you'll end up like me. Always the matchmaker, never the match. Never mind. We're talking about you. Let's stay on task. Do you have a, a one that got away? Somebody you still think about a lot? One time I patched up this half orc. She had a thick accent. I could barely understand a word she said. But she watched me do the stitches, and then she asked if she could try it on herself. And she did. She finished her own stitches. It was incredible. I wonder what she's doing now. She was completely mad. Duly noted. Okay. Last but not least, sexual compatibility. It's important. Would you describe yourself as adventurous? Oh, God. I guess that word means different things to different people. Tell me, have your previous partners described you as being good in bed? I haven't had any complaints. Well, should we believe them? There's absolutely no reason we should. I doubt they'd tell me to my face if they were disappointed. Okay, okay. Any weird kinks I should know about? Uh, shape-shifting? Necromancy? Don't be shy. Trust me, I've heard it all before. Necromancy? Are you kidding? Have you ever seen a dead body? They're disgusting. The skin gets all blotchy. 
Organs start decomposing within just a few days. Then they bloat. Liquids coming out of every orifice and the smell. All right. That is all I need for the initial interview. We will go ahead and start looking for compatible matches amongst our other candidates, uh, including other temples as well as here. I already have a few people in mind. That's very fast, okay. If we find a match for you, we will be in touch. And if you are happy with our services, we do accept contributions to the temple in the form of clothing, cosmetics, scents, jewelry, artwork, furniture, and chocolate. What about uh, antiseptics? I got plenty of those. Sleep aid, laxatives? No? Okay, your loss. And remember, true love conquers all. As long as you follow your heart, all will be well. May Suni shine the light of her beauty upon you, sweetheart. Farewell. Sorry if I got uh, blood on your curtains, by the way. Salt water helps. Or vinegar, rinse it in cold water as, as soon as possible. Sorry again. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Ellie. Remember that if you want to bring her into your own game or just have a little collectible card all about her, you have until the end of March to join us on Patreon to get in on that special offer. I will put the link into the description. Honestly, my Patreon community is just the best thing that ever happened to me and we would love to have you join us. We just hang out in Discord all day and share cat photos and make a lot of puns. It's great.